order, the arrangement or disposition of people or things in relation to each other according to a particular sequence, pattern, or method, an authoritative command, direction, or instruction. Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, call Halala Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now that's Hebrew, interpret, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh and the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elects scattered abroad. Teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right. I had something on my mind. And um, I want to just briefly, Lord willing, hoping to edify those of the whole four elect on uh, this topic, which uh, I want to maybe I entitled it Respect the Order. You know, Respect the Order. All right. Now, here in Great Millstone, starting with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. You know, they have taught us order. You know, that's the big difference between the different camps, you know, the different Israelite camps. All right. Here at Great Millstone, we have order. Now, you see other camps, they have their particular order according to their camp. And uh, one thing here we were taught by our elders and apostles, you know, is to respect order, you know, because without that, all right, you're just being Satan. You know, even when uh, someone gives you an order, you know, it should be no argument. It should just be, hey, you know what? Hey, I got you. You know, come. You know, because anything else is just straight demons, man. All right, now I want to run through a few scriptures. All right, and uh, to break this down, because it's very important, you know, when, when guys are given an order and they buck, you know, at the order, it shows forth their demons. They got demons on them, man, you know, because, um, you know, Yahweh Shai, as it's written, he's not the author of confusion. And that's one thing about our Heavenly Father. Okay, we get it from him. You know, our apostles and elders are well studied. They're scholars, they're researchers, they're prophets, all right, historians, and when you research these scriptures and you learn the Lord, while you learn who you are as a people, as a Hebrew Israelite, all right, you learn that the Heavenly Father is all about order, all right. And uh, like I said, the scriptures say, which I can get. Let me get that scripture real quick. This is uh, verse First Corinthians, uh, chapter fourteen and forty. It says, "Let all things be done decency, uh, decently." And in order. Okay. Now, uh, before I even uh, bring, finish this, uh, let me go into this word authoritative because each camp have an authoritative, you know, which is a brother, a head brother to uh, rule over the, over the body, a trusted brother, you know, that will rule over the body and judge according to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, the Lord, matter of fact, the Lord, uh, that's a scripture. Um, mm, just went over that earlier. Let me, uh, come back. All right. Let me, uh, get the scripture. I had to find the scripture again. Um, and it's the spirit, you know, cause I was talking with someone earlier and this scripture popped up. Uh, this is second Chronicles chapter 19 and verse five. It says, and he set judges in the land throughout all the fenced cities of Judah, city by city. All right. It says, and said to the judges, take heed what ye do, for ye judge not for man, but for the Lord Yahweh, who is with you in the judgment. Wherefore, now let the fear of Yahweh be upon you. Take heed and do it for for there is no iniquity with the Lord Yahweh our power, nor respect of persons, nor taking of gifts. All right. So the point of the scripture 
you know, it's a judge of scripture and, you know, the men who the Lord set up to judge or to rule, I'm referring this to, you know, uh, brothers in command, you know, they are trusted brothers with an authoritative, all right, um, uh, administration. And when they judge or when they rule or set forth command, you know, they follow Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right, because uh, it is very important that you know it doesn't get um, you know get emotional and and want to do what you want to do, do according to what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah and His Word. All right, and here in the body, we do according to what we were taught here in Great Millstone. All right, and that's the chain of command. Now it says, and said to the judges, Take heed what ye do, for ye judge not for man, but for the Lord Yahweh, who is with you in the judgment. Wherefore, now let the fear of the Lord be upon you, take heed and do it, for there is no iniquity with the Lord Yahweh, our power, nor respect of person, nor taking of gifts. All right. And that respect of person being a judge. All right. You know, you're not going to be bribed. You know, it's, a, uh, you know, sometimes when, you know, you cool with a brother and everything is cool, you know, you kind of open up, you know, you get, you know, we brotherly. Sometimes a brother can, um, you know, lose that respect of order. All right. And as the scriptures say, nor respect of persons, because even though we're brothers, you know, we still check one another. We still stay with the order of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. And if you break that order, you know, you're going to be disciplined, man. All right. You're going to get rebuked. You're going to get reproved, whatever, which way the Lord do it. All right. Because the Lord is not a respect of person. And we are not to be a respective person. All right. And uh, that's why Elder Apostle Kabar, he did a badass lesson uh, a couple of what, maybe a year ago. I know his I know his page been taken down, but he did a lesson where, you know, being too familiar, you know, certain guys be too familiar, they they cross that line. And when they cross that line, you know, they're gonna, you know, feel the effects of the uh of the reproof, of the rebuke, you know, because uh, one thing the elders also taught us, you know, is not to be buddy, buddy, you know, the buddy, buddy spirit where you can't check a brother, you know, you know, because you're afraid, you know, um, you know, you're going to lose, you're going to become enemies or he's going to be mad at what you say. Well, that ain't how this thing work. Okay. You know, you, you, you are to reprove a brother if he's going off because we're not buddy, buddy with brethren, but according to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, because in our reality, we love one another, you know, brothers learn each other, brothers spend time with each other, brothers look after each other. But when a brother is unruly, he becomes not a brother anymore. You know, he got demons on him. Until he went over that trust again, you know, your brother do well, repent, you know, and, and, you know, then you, know, you gain your brother back. But other than that, this is business, man. You know, you going off, you know, you going off, you know, you're Xing yourself out the body. All right. Unless you do well and repent. And I, so I, I would just brought that up because it came to mind. Now the word authoritative. 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 Now, brother set ranks, the elders did, but then here in Great Millstone, and that's what, that's order. All right, so the camp leaders are authoritative. It says, able to be trusted as being accurate or true, reliable. All right, these men have been trusted. These men are trusted, they're accurate, and when they report, it's, it's of the truth. It's the sincerity of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You see? It says, commanding and self-confident, likely to be respected and obeyed. You know, we we, we uh, tilt our hat off to brethren. You know, just as the scriptures say, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, uh, you, uh, I can't think of the scripture. I want to butcher it. You know, but even a brother that's ahead, 
you know, he even showed much admonishment and, and love to the, even the youngest brother, you know, because we're brothers. All right. But the point is, it says able to be trusted and being accurate or true, reliable. So if the brother give an order, you got to listen to the order. OK. You know, some brothers are more stern, which is cool. And some brothers are more a little laid back, cool with it. Talk to you, you know, in a certain way. Either way, uh, it's an order or order is an order and you ought to follow. You know, the apostles, they look out for our uh, souls, as the scriptures say. When they give certain orders, it's because they're watching over our souls. All right. You know, it's not for you to get mad and, um, you know, get emotional and feel like the apostles wrong. You know, you're not on their level. All right. And if you were right in the spirit, you would understand it and you would respect it because of the love of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and your faith that you have, which really goes back to your knowledge, understanding and wisdom, truly the understanding. You know, then you apply that wisdom. The knowledge is that, you know, you know. So that's authoritative. Um, Let me get one more real quick. And it's not going to be a long lesson. Like I said, it was on my mind. I may even come back and uh, try to do another one. You know, more studied one. But uh, hopefully this lesson here is edifying. You know, remember order. You know, because when you go against order, you lose that respect. You're a demon, man. All right. It says respect. A feeling of deep admiration of someone or something illicit by their abilities, qualities, or achievements. Let's see. Illicit. Okay, evoke or draw out a response, answer, or fact from someone in reaction to one's own action or questions. Draw forth. Okay, elicit. Let's read that again. Let me get that back. Respect. It says a, it says a, a feeling of deep admiration for someone, and we have that deep a moderation for the apostles that's why we give double honors you know our apostles been teaching you know for over 30 years and they've been going strong not even missing a beat you know they've been prophesizing and they've been teaching unlike other some of these other uh elders men that been out for that been in this truth for years you know a lot of them stopped and then they came back and now you got a lot of them teaching the false doctrine a lot of them you know, came into this truth, you know, came back into the truth, I should say, and started to teach this word for uh, for their own gain. You know, so it says a feeling of deep moderation for someone or something illicit by their abilities. You know, what is the what is the elders and apostles abilities to be sharp, to be a, 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 a scholars in the scriptures? You know, and where to, to strive for the same, as the scriptures say, strive to your perfection, you know. So I'm just using the elders as an example. All right. Because they are the great. They are the great example here in the flesh on the earth. All right. Now, if you got a problem with that, you know, you can get off the channel. All right. But it's just the truth. If you believe in your Bash and your Shai, you know, you're going to uh, see your teachers. And you're going to acknowledge the teachers and the prophets and the true men of the Lord. It says um, qualities. You know, it says or oh, achievements. Let's see. Do regard for the feelings, wishes, rights or tradition of others. OK, so admire, you know, and we, we admire the elders, the apostles in the order. The order keeps us safe. It helps us defend the gospel, all right? It helps us to be brotherly amongst each other. You know, brothers really truly learn how to be a brother. You know, we were all niggas, man. All niggas, man, coming into this truth. Whatever which way, shape, size, and form, you know, wherever you at in the world and you came from the, from the world growing up, you was a nigga, man. 
whether you's a geek nigga, uh, a gangster nigga, a thug nigga, a drug dealing nigga, a weed smoking nigga, you know, a pimp nigga, same as these women, you know, you got certain women that straighten up, you know, so it applies to y'all too. And especially you women, because women are, you know, mainly, you know, it's hard for them to follow order, you know, but we here to talk about the men. All right. And being a brother. All right. So that's respect, man. Always have respect for the ones that are before you or the ones that are set up over you. All right. It's to look out for your soul. It's no harm. You know, it's no, uh, you know, no, uh, no wicked you know, type of, um, uh, uh, let's say some wicked type of command that's going to destroy you. It's to, it's to help you. It's to save you, keep you on track. It's to, you know, brothers put the command out there so that we, we, we defend this gospel and teach this truth. It's a certain way, you know, that you project this truth. You know, you got a lot of Israelite camps out here and, you know, you see a bunch of niggas and garments and you can tell that, the spirit ain't really on them. They just doing it because they saw other brothers doing it or they doing it in their own way. And then they messing up the, the word, you know, because they didn't want to come up under other men, you know. So anyway, with that, let's go to some scriptures here. And uh, what I did, like I said, this is um, just meditating and just put the word order in blue letter. And you got 59 verses that come up. So hopefully, Lord willing, I didn't jot down no notes and put it on a napkin or nothing. I just was reading through. And it's a lot of uh, good scriptures in here about order. All right. Well, every scripture is good when it talks about order. All right. Because the Lord is order. Um. All right. This is the first one. Let's get this one. This is Job 23 and 4. All right, Job 23 and 4. It says, I would order my cause before him and fill my mouth with argument. Now, we all understand the story of Job. You should have. And Job, you know, went through a lot of hell. Okay. When the Most High allowed Satan to test Job, to test his integrity, you know, Job, he passed the test, man, because he. He stood strong and firm with his integrity toward Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and not, uh, you know, um, let's say he didn't, you know, get mad and lose his cool. He stayed within the order. You know, he knew the most high is almighty for what he, what he was going through. You know, he was going to suffer. it, And that and really Job is like all of us today. We're all a, a mirror of a joke. You know, Job, he possibly, you know, well, he is, so he could be in the spirit world. But, you know, Job himself is back too. you know, he's one of the elect. But all right, it says, I will order my cause before him and fill my mouth with argument. Why would you fill your mouth with argument? Because you're not going to say anything. All right. You're going to keep your mouth closed. All right. Job didn't curse the most high out as his woman told him to. His woman was wicked. You know, she saw that Job was, you know, going through the ring, going through the fire. And like, why don't you just curse the Lord and die already? Why are you suffering like this? You know, but Job didn't do it. He cursed his woman out. You know, so he filled all his pain and agony, his stress. He held it within. All right. Because when you manifest, you know, with your mouth and your tongue. OK, that's how you manifest your words. That's when you commit sin. You know, it's not what goes in the mouth that defiles a man, but what comes out of the mouth is what defiles a man. All right. So it says, if thou canest, uh, I would order my cause before him and fill my mouth with my art, with argument, arguments. All right. Let's see here. Right. Now, this is another good one here. Um, if thou can answer me, set thy words in order before me. Stand up. Now, Job 37, 19, it says, uh, teach us what we shall say unto him, for we cannot order our speech 
by reason of darkness. Because if you're, if you're wrong and you're going off, there's no way you can justify yourself. All right. There's no way you can justify yourself. It says, teach us what we shall say unto him. For we cannot order our speech by reason of darkness. Okay. You can't justify yourself, man. Not in wickedness. You can't. Right. You can't. You can't justify yourself. You can't. You can't do it. It don't work that way. You know, the Lord teaches us how to pray. He teaches us how to repent. King David. All right. Was a master you know, at, at repenting, you know, he, he, he did, the, he did the things that the Lord delighted in the Lord overturned judgment, you know, what he did get judged, but the most high kept him as his beloved, you know, the apple of his eye. So David teaches us how to pray and to repent, you know, all right, let's move on. Let's see. Right, now here's another one. This is Psalms 119 and 133. Order my steps in thy word, and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. You know, so order, order, all right? Order my steps in thy word. So the way that we conduct ourselves is in the word, you know? You order yourself in the word. It says, order my steps in thy word and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Because why? You should repent. You know, understand, you know, when there's an order being given, there's no need for uh, getting mad and, you know, speaking back and saying all types of shit to draw Satan. You know, because when you're wrong, you're wrong. Point blank, period. When you're wrong, you're wrong. And, and guess what? We're not perfect. We're all, we all fuck up. But guess what? It's about how you deal with it. It's about how you handle the situation. You know, the shit sting when, when you fuck up and then you get reproved. But that letting you know that you should check yourself. In reality, you know, when you're rebellious, there, there's demons on you, man. When you're rebellious and you can't see that you're wrong... You have demons on you, you know, and it could be for the most smallest things. That's why it's good to sit back, be quiet and think, repent, start praying, you know, that's important, man. All of, none of us are perfect. We're striving to be perfect. All right. Um, let's see. Like I said, I didn't script this. I just ran through this a uh, few scriptures I saw. On order, I could have probably did the lesson a little more better if I meditated and uh, deeply meditated, but I didn't. I just was th my thoughts. These are my thoughts. All right, on this order thing, order respect the order. All right, on this particular topic, um, he gave he could he get this sort out. Uh, let's see, yeah. let's see. Like, yeah, we read this, 1 Corinthians 14 and 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. All right? You know, also, also too, is uh, where the Most High, uh, he put man over woman, all right? And Yahweh Shai is over the church. That's order. That shows you that, that there's order. All right? So there's order within orders. You know, even the elect, I believe... You know, it's my humble opinion, even when we get into the kingdom, you know, Lord willing, we be those men and the kingdom within the elect is going to be order. You know, King David is going to be set up as the king again. You have shy is going to be there over King David. You know, you're going to have, uh, you know, order within the elect, you know, little different ranking systems, man, because that's how you keep the order, you know. You know, that's just my humble opinion. You know, the scriptures say, no, I know, I have heard, 
you know, but, you know, knowing the Lord is all about order. Order is a must, man. If you're going to give double honors to the apostles before your videos, it's a must that you follow the order. I mean, it's it, it should be that you follow that order, you know, because that's confusion. You know, the incident with this guy, um, what is the magic mushroom nigga, you know, all right, you know, taking, um, taking hallucinated drugs, mushrooms and shit and saying that it's, it's lawful to take, you know, that's, that's off, man. That's off, man. All right. We don't need to uh, take a drug to be closer to the Lord, to get visions and dreams and to hallucinate. The Lord did that in the spirit. If the most high pour spirit upon you, oh yeah, you're going to be in the spirit, man. If you fast, it's possible you could be in the spirit. That's one way, you know, one of our secrets, <laughs> you know, but, um, but, uh, but yeah, like this guy, he, um, you know, before his videos, he says double honors to the apostles. And then now this is that, res that response video he did. Being mad as hell and, um, you know, already jumping the gun, trying to beat brothers, trying to talk about things before things could actually happen. He was saying, uh, calling brothers in GMS, uh, 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 bitches and all this stuff. You know, he even said double honors. How can you give double honors to the apostles and elders that taught you this word, but you're not following the order of the doctrine? That don't even make sense. All right. You know, if you're going to give double honors to the apostles, it's respectful enough that you're following the order as much as you can, you know, to man, to, to, uh, you know, to, uh, to man, uh, excuse me, man yourself in an upright way, being a man of the Lord, you know, you're going to teach the, the doctrine. You don't just take what the apostles teach and you, what you like. And then you go and dib and dabble into something else. No, man. You got to speak the truth. The whole truth. Nothing but the truth. You know? Um, let's see. I think that's it. You know, I'll probably do a part two to this sometime this week. Lord willing. But I hope this lesson here was edifying, man. You know, like even just getting into the word uh, order. You know, respect. Let's go back to order real quick. You know, because uh, that like the apostles taught us to look up words. You know, and, and words are powerful, man. Remember, the Lord said His His word is sharper than than a two edged sword. You know, so this word itself, the way the Lord formal formulated and put these words together and spoke His word, it's the truth. It abides forever. All right. Now it says order the arrangement. Or disposition of people or things uh, in relation to each other according to a particular sequence, pattern, or method. All right, and it's a certain sequence and pattern and method that we do here at Great Millstone. Start with our apostles and elders. You know, it's just certain things you do. You know, brothers, when we do our shows, you don't sleep. You're not supposed to be sleeping when when it's a live stream. That's a no-no, man. When it's a live stream on, hey, if 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 it's if it's if it's too late for you, you know, then then you know what? Say, hey, brother, you know, let me, you know, take it down. Then you know, so lock you. All right. You know, just all these other things to say, you know, just shows forth you got demons, man. Straight up, man. You got demons, man. You know, cause cause you're dead wrong. Having anything else to say. There's no sleeping during live streams. You know. There is no sleeping. Brothers are up alert teaching. As the apostles taught us man. You know. There's nothing to rebuttal about that. There's nothing else to say about that. You know. So this is really my spirit. So anyway. I like I, like I said. I hope this lesson was edifying. To those of the hopeful elect. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.